so we've now beaten the main game. Hello, hello, Mythic. Hope things are going well today. The main game is through. And, uh... I have yet to actually look into if there is anything else in the- I've been busy with like other projects and like the crazy game situation around here. Let me make sure that- oh, the game capture's already set, right? Nice. Um, been kind of busy with new game projects around here. Like, for example, the three games that released out of nowhere all at the same time, Kirby, Metroid Prime, and, uh, Octopath Traveler 2. So, you know, I, uh, I kind of haven't gotten around to, uh, other things like looking into uh, if there is any other content in the main game of AC Origins that is worth covering. So I'm still going to do that sometime later, most likely before the playthrough wraps up for good. But for now, we may as well start the DLC, right? I can always come back to play in main game later if, you know, I find out that there is stuff that is really spicy and I should go and do. Let's do the DLC for now, because once the DLC is done, then I'm almost certainly through with another playthrough. He's still saying it. Also, the audio levels were adjusted for a different game recently, so I'll adjust it slightly here. But yeah, let's see here. Um, they are finally succeeding in ROM hacking explorers. This guy's been playing a custom storyline. Oh, like one that uh one that someone made online with the uh what's that one tool that uh allows people to screw around with mystery dungeon stuff? Uh I used to know it. I've forgotten right now. Um, so we already have the DLC. I just wanna whatever's new. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see here. So these should be the two DLC ones. So the first DLC that came out for this game was the hidden ones. Make the journey to Sinai known as the Land of Turquoise. So there's a ferry to go to the first DLC area, I guess. It seems like, which is over here. What? Why can't I fast travel? Oh, because I was hovering over the mission objective there. So, uh, I did look into just like surface level stuff about the DLC. And I found out that apparently within the main game of Assassin's Creed Origins, the level cap was actually 40. So what are we like 37, 38, something like that. So, you know, really close to max level already for main game. Yeah, I'm 37. It looks like. Um, and then with the first DLC, the hidden ones, apparently the level cap increased to 45. And with the uh, second DLC, Curse of the Pharaohs, apparently increased to 55 is apparently the case so yeah our level is looking pretty good you know i don't know if they use that tool but you found a website that's just a list of explorers sky rom hacks so you got content for days it makes quality but content for days nonetheless whoa still have that whoa i guess today is a day that my computer is going to be hiccuping and being weird here a little bit i could always decrease the frame rate from 60 to 45 and uh you know well maybe we shall see there because yeah it does not seem to want to cooperate today you know I don't know what causes the difference. Some days it's good, some days it's not. I just updated my computer, like, last night. So, uh, I was hoping that that might help things along. I'm just gonna turn it down to 45 for now. This is what I'm gonna do. Pick one of the higher quality ones to start with. But what if it turns out that it's really bad later on? Um, alright, sure. We can do that for now. And maybe it'll run a little bit better. We shall see. Alright, so... Yeah, at the end of the main storyline, we uh we did the thing, Bob. We took out all the baddies, and we decided to found the hidden ones, the first assassins that are out here to take out baddies. And this first DLC is called the Hidden One, so I assume that this is the uh, you know, the storyline of hey, this is after the uh, this is after the main story. They have founded the first Brotherhood of Assassins. Let's see what's going on with that. Yeah, at least there's that. Uh, the content of the Hidden Ones takes place four years after the end of the main story. Players are expected to have attained an advanced level. Yeah, I... We good, I think, here. I think we good. Okay, it's a little bit quiet. I'll turn it up later. Ooh, look at this outfit. Ooh. Who are you? If you could speak up and have allied with the rebel leader Gamia, I need your wise counsel, dear friend. Please come. I'll turn it up when I get the chance. Sinai Peninsula. So I guess it has like its own separate area, then, right? Night, the Sinai sleeps exhausted with grief. Our mouths filled with ashes, we weep tears of blood. 
who will deliver us from despair? Coming. Our hero moves with the mist, as silent as the sea, delivering death. Unknown, unseen, ever unforgiving. Yeah, Bayek's pretty cool. Yeah, and it seems to be hiccuping a decent bit today. Let me tell you of him. Don't know why it does this some days, some not. I guess today's a bad day. The shadow Unfortunate. Is Bayek. Bayek, Bayek, Bayek. Bayek. <laughs> Sounds like quite the man. Yeah, it's hiccuping at these, but it says the Creed Origins, the hidden one. Some days we have like no hiccups at all. It runs perfectly fine, no problemo. Some days it hiccups. I don't know why. Hidden one outfit, okay. So four years later, and he's a dedicated hidden one here. First and foremost, let me, uh, it could also be like my bazillion tabs and uh, <laughs> the stuff that I was doing to the uh, Fire Emblem Engage spreadsheet earlier. Here, let's turn it up from six to eight in the volume mixer there. Ah, that's a decent bit of cards there. Got quite the collection. A fine addition to my collection. Um, what thing Bob's can't... Let's close my Fire Emblem Engage spreadsheet. I was going ham on that earlier today. Um, I mean, what other things can I kill for now in Task Manager? I can kill my graphic design software. I can kill... I don't know why Malwarebytes tray application keeps opening up when I don't exactly want to do that. Um, I can kill all my 3D printing software that I can do. Yeah, I can get that out of here. I can uh, get rid of my video editing software right now. I could get rid of Discord, but, you know, it might not be needed. Um, all right, well, I've killed a whole bunch of things now. Firefox shouldn't be taking up a massive ton of CPU. I do have a lot of tabs open, but hopefully that doesn't make too much of a difference here. Find and reach the Hidden Ones Bureau, a nearby viewpoint can help you find the Hidden Ones Bureau. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go find it. Kind of most of them are just comments you ever got rid of, but quite a lot of cards, hey. Still fine addition to that collection, right? So this is the, uh, okay, so there's four sections to the little DLC area. We got, like, a little mini world here to explore. I don't think there is a mini world for the, um... For the second DLC, I think that takes place in the overworld. I'm not 100% certain. I looked up the trailer of both the Hidden Ones and Curse of the Pharaohs, and it looked like Curse of the Pharaohs took place in the main overworld, but, I mean, it all looks like desert rock and sands, so, uh, you know, maybe it has its own area, too. All right, well, that was fast. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I only use Chrome for cutting up my stream VODs into parts, and, uh, you know, Twitter posts, YouTube community posts for going live, and uh, cutting up my VODs into parts is what I use Chrome for. Nothing else, really, is the case. So I always have Chrome running for uh, for that. But you know, it's not a massive ton there. Should I'm going to go get that while I'm here anyway. Oh, don't go down the rope. That would have been close. I would have slid pretty far away. I could kill Chrome. Chrome's taking up next to nothing. 0% CPU right now, 0.7 megabytes of RAM. Whereas Firefox is taking like 10% CPU, 6,000 megabytes of RAM. I could always kill Firefox and then just go into history and, you know, restore previous session later. Is what I could do. I would lose my stream manager here. Should I, should I do it? It is eating up a lot of CPU. If it starts hiccuping like pretty bad, I'll do it. I'll kill Firefox and then, uh, you know, is what I'll do. Time to die. But yeah, there's a lot of game projects going on around here. A lot of stuff that I'm kind of busy with around the uh, around the channel right now. And uh, the only thing that I have for sure left when it comes to Origins here is the DLC. And apparently it's not super duper long. I mean, it depends on how much running around and collecting stuff like this I do, I guess. Let's see here. Yoink. I will grab that. 
Double the guard. Claudius, yesterday I discovered that a portion of her supplies had disappeared during the night. This is the second time this has happened. How is it possible despite our best efforts? Are the workers stealing from us in front of our eyes? If this turns out to be the case, we will all end up languishing on a cross. Be at keep attentive and form the others. Double the night guard if need be. Let's catch the thieves before Takito finds out about this. Or Takito, I don't know. But yeah. So definitely some, uh, some real cool ones there. A few Mews. Mews pretty cool. <laughs> I don't have any significant stacks or collections of Pokemon cards nowadays anymore. But I do still have a few cool cards lying around here and there. Like my uh, Gen 4 Shiny Lugia, for example, is probably my coolest one. I have a cool full art and in Zekrom thing where Bob that Anima sent me like a year ago. That one's pretty darn neat. But yeah, so anyway, I'm kind of doing stuff here because like, yeah, once we're through with the DLC here, then, you know, I get a little bit more breathing room. I, uh, I need time to work on various projects around here that, you know, that take a good while to work on a whole bunch of games. And I have plans for the next several days of games. Today, streaming it, it is currently March now. It is March 1st. I kind of needed to do some, uh, some streaming of this game because I actually run out of uploads for this game soon. I think March 4th. I think I have, like, three days left to upload. So I was like, oh, I need to do some Origins here soon. I also need to do some Kirby here soon because I think that only goes until, like, March 2nd. So I should, uh, do that in the near future, too. So <laughs> my big priorities right now are, uh, Assassin's Creed and, uh, and Kirby for the, uh, for the next couple days but there's other things that are happening that are gonna take up my time for the next couple days for one apparently the first dlc of mario plus rabbit sparks of hope comes out tomorrow i only found that out this morning i was looking at a game explain video of here's all the big stuff coming to the switch in march and i saw that i was like wait what why have i not heard about this like that's the kind of thing that i would normally be really on top of and i found out that apparently the first uh it's just the first dlc of it apparently there's gonna be like three waves of it as the case and yeah apparently the reason for that is because they only announced it on like the mario rabbits twitter account that's it nowhere else it wasn't posted on nintendo's youtube page or ubisoft's or anything like that just mentioning it the first dlc of mario plus rabbit sparks i hope the tower of doom which is like a challenge mode thing is coming out like then i think they announced it like a week ago something like that and i had no idea until this morning so it's like oh i guess we're doing that tomorrow ah, very good. what the hay or the bureau we can jump here fly pichu v max so big as balloons look like the ones attached to the house from up <laughs> it's just gonna fly away to paradise falls but yeah so tomorrow gonna do that um friday so the day after gonna stream some kirby because that in addition to ac origins and stuff that if i don't i'm gonna run out soon plus you know kirby's return to dreamland it's a pretty short game we already cleared like the first what four worlds ah ah so you know we should be able to get through it in one more sitting a-ok -okay, and then after that we can just stream like some fire emblem engage or something and then day after that on the saturday probably something new if things go according to plan i'm not quite prepared though so uh let's be another way in um, so we shall see, but I want to do something cool. Um, so we shall see if it works out. Must be another way in. Sen oh, Senyu can help you find the secret entrance. There, then? What? What's over here? I don't know what the heck is going on there. But I assume it's over here. Let's use the secret entrance! That's what we should do. Unless I can just take out a heavy weapon and break that. Speaking of weapons, I have my things, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I have my flaming sword. It's not my strongest sword, but it's on fire. So I want to use it because it's cool. You know, it's it's the perks of looking cool in video games. You look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good. So it puts me at an advantage. Um... Takito Tacito Arano is known for his dramatic flair, a ruthless quarry master. He manages various adult and child slaves in order to ensure that turquoise is extracted from the mine as efficiently as possible. His ties to Rufio are known to be strong, though his love for Greek and Roman theater sets him apart. Tahira has caught him at the top of the quarry, delivering horrid speeches to his workers. <laughs> what makes the speeches horrid? Oh man, he's, he's preaching about him liking, um... Insert X thing here that everyone loves to hate. Uh, modern Roller Coaster Tycoon. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's a pretty niche thing there that a lot of people are like, wait, what the heck? <laughs> but in my experience, 
is at least whatever this would be an ideal time to intervene otherwise he convenes with the legionaries and is generally a sad lonely man wow way to take personal jabs at him Tamos the mason Tamos is a traitor to egypt a two-faced man with ties to rome and to cleopatra he has played all sides to his favor his pillage of our sacred sites appears motivated by a deeper purpose not just pleasing the war effort of cleopatra and the coffers of rome our informants feel he has a deeper goal, possibly related to the shards of the of star legend, which holds the populace in awe. His ease with which he is liquidating the lands is terrifying. Ampelius of Capitolinus. Ampelius was trained of the Roman on the Roman trade routes with the Usipi and Tancteri, and was mandated to use violence as a means of ensuring secure trade. This was effective with the northern barbarians, based on the information on Amunet's Rome Bureau, and he intends to bring the same methods here to the Sinai. He blocks and clogs the way of horse as he sees fit, and he uses dismemberment as his preferred method of discipline and fear-mongering. Uh. If the walls of the ruler do not change hands or get emptied of soldiers, his rule will reign forever. I'm also going to adjust my microphone here slightly. My, oh my. Also, they were able to found these bureaus in all sorts of places, like, pretty fast. Four years? That's pretty good time there. On world record pace. Um, dear Tahiri, send you a land among your ranks. Amun has received your prayer and will answer it as long as Memphis lives in peace. Your lions will be tamed and I will be among the hidden ones within Amun. Be vigilant and strong and do not let the way of Horus fall to the lions or jackals. Our duty is a shadowy one, but a permanent shadow must fall across all lands. Amun. Okay. Wah. No, I need to, uh, wait, I need to alt-tab off the game for a hot second to do that on OBS, just so I can see whether I, uh, have the alert box and chat on or off, because it's a higher thing in the, uh, in my sources there, and if I'm scrolled down to where I was at game capture before, I can't really tell. Hi! Oh, sup? Hi, friends! How's it going? It is an honor to meet you, Mentor. It's an honor to meet you. We are both equally hidden ones. Aww. I act so humble. Whoopty! <laughs> greatest of them all. I have heard the songs. They're speaking pretty quietly. Kinda hard to hear. Scoozy. Okay, what's happening here? Such loss of life. Tahira. Oh, Bayek, thank the gods you have come. Your message was urgent. These are the swords of two hidden ones I recruited. Killed in a massacre. They will be remembered as martyrs to the cause. This is Gamilat, leader of the Nabatean rebels. What happened? We retreated through the village. The Romans pursued us in a fury and took their anger out on the villagers. It was pure butchery. Innocent men and women. The Hidden Ones tried to stop it and were killed. They understood the risks. I assigned them to help the rebels. Tahira, what has been done cannot be undone. The Hidden Ones have no place in battles, but we can help the rebellion by eliminating the Roman leader. General Rufio, but he is in Rome. Rufio has three lieutenants here in the Sinai. These three men will die. Let's get to it. Hmm. I am indebted to you. We do this for the people, Gamilat. Yes, the people. The people and I are one and the same. <laughs> Quest completed the land of turquoise. Okay, so we have three targets initially here. Does it show in the... Uh... No, it's still like the main game ones. So, yeah, so these are now the thing where Bob's here. I'm still a little bit under leveled for some of them. So I guess we can start out with where the slaves die. Bayek seeks to remove Rufio's lieutenant at the quarry. Okay, yeah, I can do that one. And we can probably also get like side quests and stuff around here if we want to level up. Setting sun, hi. Sokon has been missing for two weeks. He is the shadow tasked with surveying the quarry. Yet the shadow became law. It may be too late for Sokon. He went to a merchant ship at the dock several days ago, and that place is crawling with Romans. Is it just me, or do they talk a lot louder during the actual full-on cutscenes than they do during those, like, minor cutscenes there of just talking? I will 
Um, okay. So, yeah, a whole little mini world to explore here. Compared to the main game world. Um, there's some quests around here. Oh, yeah, I could upgrade equipment and stuff that I never got around to doing. Let's head over here and see what the uh, question mark is on the way. I should go meet Tahira about the quarry. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea, right? So, this question mark over here is... What? Did I go past it? Wait, what? What's here? Wait, what is this? It's underground? Oh. Okay, well, maybe I'm not getting it on the way then. <laughs> if it's, uh, if it's deep underground. Maybe it's not happening in that case. Also, all my complaints with the uh, main game was the lack of, like, costume customization. Watch it not even be the case. Hold on. Oh, well, there's full-on outfits and stuff. Meh. I still- I want to wear this new thing for now. That's what I want to do. It looks pretty cool anyway, you know? So may as well give it a go here. Wait, the- Oh. Oh. Well, l let's have a chat here. Ah, uh, Bayek. It is time to dispose of Rufio's lieutenant. Tacito often comes out to roost atop the quarry. He is a brutal overseer. He makes an example of his workers every day. Well, dang. And he's somewhere in here, right? Yeah, he's somewhere in here, so I can take this down all at once. Uh, it's fine. I'll just murderize everybody else on the way, and then nobody can see if there's nobody to see. It's like a loose mustache here. On the right side, my face there. I should uh, I should trim my mustache in the near future. Also, after closing those things, it's going to be running a lot better, so I'm just going to up it to 60 and see what happens. This sends a message. The hidden ones will not settle for any oppressor. Yeah, it's not about winning, it's about sending a message. My, uh, my thought's exactly there whenever I'm playing Smash. Oh, yeah, there's some tougher guys over there. Hmm. And then... Oh. I might still be very slightly underleveled for the DLC then. Where the heck are you? I hate this thing sometimes. What? Oh, okay. Okay, then. Just check if there's anybody around here. So, yeah, because a lot of them are a little bit higher level, a little bit sketchy sketch here. This is a lot of guys. This is only like a two... Not star. Two pike. Whatever the heck. Fortress? Not even the largest size of three? You're telling me here? Huh. Because, yeah, that's a lot of guys. Some of them are, uh, you know, in the scary red area because they're three levels higher than me. Okay, well. There is chests, like, right by here, right? Yeah, should I grab those while I'm here? Yeah, I can grab... Ow! I can grab them while I'm over here, I guess. Oh, I guess I'm within the fort area proper. Uh. 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 Yeah, I'm, uh. Time to die. Speaking of time to die, can I upgrade my gear? Oh, yeah, this might be handy here. Okay, well. <laughs> that's the only thing I could upgrade right now. I would have been able to upgrade another thing, Rebob, if I hadn't used that. Yeah. I could do with some materials and stuff. So is this not, you know, are these not, what the heck? The fort chests in that case? Because I saw there was one over there somewhere. Yeah, so I do have them marked. They just have the smaller icons when, uh, when I'm a little bit far. Nobody up there anymore? Okay, there's a key guy. But, uh, he's giving a speech at the obelisk. He's over there. There's the two commanders. One of which is four levels higher than me. It's a little bit scary. But I'll figure it out. This just gives me extra challenge. 
and extra challenge can be kind of cool. That was a very close one, wasn't it? Well, they have wood. Wood that I probably shouldn't go for here. How the heck do I get these chests? I want them while I'm here. Uh, uh, let's see here. No. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Nice miss. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to be fighting too many guys out in the open when my level is slightly sketchy here. You know, I will avoid it if I can. If it can be avoided, I will avoid it. Because, yeah, they kind of expect you to be pretty done with the main game by the time you start the DLC. I think, though, uh, was it when I was testing Valhalla for its frame rate that one time or this game where it's like if you start the DLC early, you'll just be boosted up to the level that you can do it at this point if you want. But otherwise, you'll use just your main game stuff. I think it was probably Valhalla, most likely, since it's like a separate thing that you click on the menu in that when I was testing, whereas this is just a high. You go and start the quest within the original world. Yeah, yeah, leave me alone. I'm going in. Good thing I have hands made of steel. No, you suspect nothing. Up, oh, please. Okay, just chill here, maybe. And I've marked everyone, right? I hope you better not be coming on over. Everyone should be marked, I hope. So there's a chest there. And wasn't there one over here? And that would be the two chests, not the, uh... Not that other thing where Bob... No? I'm so confused where the second chest is then. Oh, right there. Okay, so those are the two chests then. So let's see here. Let's have a bit of a look-see over here. Let's go this way. And then up further. Up further, I said. I might not even need to do that. I might just be able to uh go over this way and take out this guy. Alright. One less dudo to worry about. I'm not entirely certain what I'm gonna be able to do to this guy. I can equip the firebombs. So that when I fail to assassinate him, I can... Uh oh <laughs> I can use some pomegranate wine. Oh. Thank goodness his speech goes on for a while. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not great, is it? Well, uh, guess this is life now. He's just not moving. Oh, he moves slightly there. Uh. Okay, uh. Uh. Ah! My super got me stabbed! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. That's not great. Come on, just jank him over here. Uh-oh. Well, if I take out at least this guy, you know, it'll save that progress, and uh, I don't have to do it again. So if I can just pull it off, that would be awesome. Okay, I don't want to be over here, because I'm in, like, firing range over here. Okay, come on. Just take out this guy. And then he's gone for good. Come on. Please. Please. No! Come on! 